Okay, um, now that we have the engine apart, we went ahead and cleaned the engine a little, the block a little bit. Now we're going to hone the cylinders. Um, so what what I've already kind of pre-done, uh, you're gonna, I'm just going to do some more of it. I've just taken some oil and I've kind of put some oil in here. You lube up the cylinder really, really well. Uh, at the same time, you need to put oil on your hone here. And all I have is a just a three-stone hone um, hooked to a cordless drill. And you're going to pinch them together, put them in here. And then what you want to do is you want to move it, keep the drill moving. You want to uh, develop 45 degree angle um, cross hatching marks, just like the manual says. And so really you have to understand your drill and your setup to really get those. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this and kind of show you what the result is. And so after, after you get done the first time, if we can kind of look in here, you see where I've developed a little bit of, I don't know if you can see that on the video, where I've developed a little bit of cross hatching. And so we're just going to continually do this again and again uh, until we get the cross hatching, hatching that we want and uh, kind of break up that the, the straight lines on the cylinder walls. Okay, um, we have the engine block all cleaned up. We have the, uh, we've removed all the carbon. We've uh, honed the cylinders or deglazed the cylinders, however you want to call it. Um, and then we uh, stuck the block in the dishwasher. Not advisable if your wife is home. My wife is not home, so we stuck the block in the dishwasher. Hopefully she doesn't watch this video and I get in trouble. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, now that we have the block all done, one of the things that we need to do, and I haven't talked about yet, is these are the parts for the oil bypass. Um, and the oil bypass, basically, it, it regulates the pressure of the oil. Um, it's comprised of a, basically the valve, and you have a spring, and then you have the cap bolt. Um, and so what we're going to do is, you see how the valve lays out, and we're going to put the spring on top, and then up here on the corner of the engine, basically going to drop this down in here. Just like that. Make sure it's seated. And then this bolt, it's a 9 16th inch bolt, is going to go on with uh, 28 newton meters of force for torque. So we're going to torque this down, and that's really the first thing we're going to do for engine assembly. So there we go. All right. Um, next step is I'm, gonna, I'm only going to do one of these, um, but you have to do it four times. Is we're going to we're going to lap the valves. Um, so what we've done is we've cleaned these the car all the carbon off these valves. Um, they're a lot cleaner than when we um, got rid of them or took them out of the engine. Um, and this right here is the valve seat. And what happens is this valve seat sits right here on the the or this is the valve. This is the valve seat, this is the valve, and what you want is you want 100% contact between the valve and the valve seat, because if not, air can escape and you get, or you think of it as air escaping, and if air escapes, you don't have the compression that you need, and if you don't have the compression you need, you don't have the power. Um, so basically what happens is as the valves move up and down, you want to make sure that you get a complete seal in the combustion chamber or in the cylinder of the engine. So what we're going to do is we're going to lap the valves. Um, so I just went and got some valve grinding compound and this, uh, they, they sell these little uh, wooden suction cup things at the uh, auto parts store. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little bit of this valve grinding compound and just kind of put it on the inside of the 
valve guy or the valve seat. It's very important that you get all of this out when you uh, when you're done grinding the valves or lapping the valves. Uh, if not, when you start this engine up for the first time, you're going to have problems. Uh, you basically ruin everything that you just worked so hard on. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to install our valve. And then we're going to take our little suction cup. And there's lots of videos out on the web uh, to do this. So, you know, if mine doesn't make sense, feel free to look it up. Put the suction cup on there. And then we're going to grind away, basically just rotate it back and forth and you can kind of see the um, you can see we pick it up and move it back and forth sometimes it really doesn't work all that great you know you get get crap on your suction cup it won't it won't suction right like this one won't now even though it worked really good earlier because we've already done the other side of this engine But basically what you're going to want to do is just keep doing this, lift it up every now and then and start fresh, get you some new grit in there. And basically all you're doing is ensuring that there's a match surface between the valve and the valve seat. So be sure that you mark which valves you are matching. You can't just do this with, you know, you can't use one intake valve and um, you know, do the other. You have to use individual valves for individual seats. So we're actually putting these back into the bag for the specific valve that, or the valve seat that we're working on right now. So what we can do I worked on that a little bit. We'll go ahead and clean it up and see what we, what we have. If you remember the beginning of the video, there was no distinguishable line. Now you can see a distinguishable line there, and that, so that line actually matches up with what's on the valve seat, so we're going to have a good seat. Now you can test this. You can get, you know, uh, you can get an Expo marker or something um, and put on there and r draw on it, and then tr try to transfer it to the valve itself. Um, you know, that's one way to do it, but um, that's how you grind valves. We're going to go do all four valves and then we'll come back as we make more progress.